I'm Eric, I'm KC8XJ, and I'm with Universal Radio, and today we're excited to uh, bring you a close look at Kenwood's brand new handheld. This is their THD74. This is by far one of the most impressive handhelds ever introduced into the amateur radio market. Kenwood has always been a leader on their HTs, especially for their integrated GPS and APRS systems. With their previous THD72 and several of their other earlier models, they were one of the first manufacturers to get into it. It is capable of doing a lot, and it's a little bit of a complicated handheld, so you're going to want to be familiar with some of the digital modes that this does and some of the APRS abilities that it's capable with. For somebody new stepping into it, it's a little bit of a learning curve. This radio is a tri-band radio. It works on the 2 meter, the 220, and the 440 bands. So very versatile for what it is. It puts out 5 watts on all three of those bands. A, a lot of other radios that cover the 220 band are very limited in power, and I like that this gives you a full 5 watts out. This radio has built in a GPS sensor and has the ability to do APRS because it has its own internal packet modem built in. You can monitor on the 2 meter band the APRS frequency and as it's going right now in front of me it's decoding and picking up packets that are in our area. Definitely an innovative handheld having all of that integrated into it. And one thing that's really unique is this Kenwood is capable of working on D-Star which is ICOM's digital mode. And this is the first radio that I've seen in, in the market that's able to work on that system that's not an ICOM. So that in itself is a really groundbreaking feature. And when you look at the ICOM radios, um, none of them have an APRS modem built in. So while they can do the location stuff for the digital mode, it doesn't play well with the APRS. And that's something that this radio does that no other radio on the market has available. One of the other innovative things on this is the color screen that is on the display. We've seen a few color screens that are out in the Chinese market and other handhelds, but out of the one of the main manufacturers, this is the first one that's come across from ICOM, Kenwood, or Yesu. I do really like this screen. It uses what they call transflective technology, and one of the things that's nice about this is when the backlighting times out, you're still able to read the screen, which is normally not capable with most typical color screens. Once that backlighting would go off, you wouldn't be able to tell what it says. So that's a great power saving feature. If you decide to shut the backlighting off, you're going to save a lot of juice and you're going to be able to still read what frequency you're on and what the settings in the radio are doing. I like the menu system in this radio. It's got things organized in logical groups and you're not scrolling through an endless list of a hundred plus items in the settings. For a complex radio, I think that menu system help makes it a, a whole lot easier. You're, you're going to be able to go right to what you want to find and get into it. Uh, a lot of the main features of the radio can be turned on by just pressing a key or pressing the function key and turning on another system. So there's a lot of things just basic like saving memories, uh, turning your tones on and off, selecting the frequencies of the tones. A lot of that stuff is all done through a quick keyboard shortcut. I also wanted to mention with this handheld, uh, one of the biggest advancements that's in it is its wideband receive capability. This radio has coverage all the way down uh, medium wave or the AM broadcast band. Another thing that's unique to this is this handheld is one of the only ones that in the short wave bands is able to receive in the single sideband mode. That's going to give you the ability to listen to a lot of the ham radio operators that are working on HF. So if you go on a trip and you don't want to drag a lot of your gear and say you want to keep track of your buddies that are talking on a 40 meter net in the evening, this radio along with some other optional antennas to, uh, to put with it, uh, I admit the factory rubber duck isn't the best on shortwave with it, but if you can get a small wire antenna to the SMA antenna jack on this, its shortwave receive capabilities is actually pretty good for a handheld. Just another note, this radio does have an internal ferrite bar antenna that's built for picking up the AM and the shortwave bands. 
and you can select in the menu to either use the internal ferrite or use the external antenna jack. So if you're going by yourself with just no antennas, uh, use the ferrite bar option in the menu. If you've got the place to where you can string a small wire, something small, I'd say under 30 feet, um, and wire it to go to an SMA, that'll be ideal for listening to your shortwave sides. Other than Kenwood's old THF6A, which is the only other handheld I've ever seen do sideband, this is another feature that just really raises the bar on the capabilities of what this awesome little handheld can do. What comes with this new radio? The THD74 is going to come with an 1800 milliamp lithium ion battery. It comes with an AC wall charger that plugs into the, the DC port on the side of this radio. Also a belt clip and a wrist strap. So that's all pretty straightforward. We just wanted to take a close look here at the side of the radio. Down at the bottom you've got your DC jack for charging. And uh, as you go up from there, there's a slot for the SD card. You can actually make recordings of the audio that you receive to back up your memories and do a lot of things if you put an SD card in it. Also there, they've got the USB port for when you connect it up to the computer for programming built in. Above here, I've got the standard two-pin Kenwood uh, mic here. And, and that, I think they've kept the same on this and haven't had too many changes there. All of that stuff pretty straightforward, um, but they've got all the connections here with the nice little rubber covers to keep moisture out of them. Please look at our website. There's more and more accessories coming out for this new radio each week for a complete list of what we've got available for it. Uh, there's a number of other optional battery packs, alkaline cell holders, speaker mics that are going to be on there for you. And our website is the www.universal-radio.com.